Hello, this is Miss Kramer, and we're filming another fun lesson about symmetry. We're going to use um, paper. It can be hard paper, cardstock, postcard paper that uh, is folded in half, like so. And we're going to load it up with little dots along this line so that we can push down and get some really neat creatures out of it, like these awesome bugs and beetles. Uh, using uh, paints that are a little textural, like for example, tulip, which are fabric paints. You can use um, glitter, glues, or you can use also uh, 3D tulip paint, uh, smaller size, or even um, these type of glass paints work well. Um, Martha Stewart glass paints, anything that has a little thicker body to it and I like using the pointy top but we can also load it up into a little well and use the end of our brush to put it on a piece of paper so without further ado we're gonna be making these neat, neat little bugs I'll show you a little close-up here pretty neat fantastical creatures right there look at that really cool Okay, let's clean up the workspace and so that we can get started. So in this fun, fun lesson, I'm going to get started by loading that one line where I folded my paper in half. I'm going to load just along that line, dotting some colors. So I'm going to load up some, with the end of my brush, I'm going to load up maybe some turquoise and what i'm doing is i'm loading it to the end of the brush like so and then just dotting some not too much little circles and i'm going to pile it one on top of each other and i'm just gonna choose some complementary colors like orange and blue and highlights with yellow and low lights with just dark browns maybe or black so it's very simple shouldn't take more than 15 minutes as usual so let's get started and you should have a little piece of paper so if you change uh, into a different color wipe your brush like so and then you can go and pick up another color for example this dark blue so I'll dot it again little dots sort of like so so it kind of drips at the end of the brush like uh, so I can dot it and there's paint left over it okay or otherwise if you have one of these on your table you can squeeze a little bowl not too much less is little trust me Oop. See, that was way too much already because that's going to make a blob when I push the paint into it. So I don't want that much, right? But I'm going to keep it for the purposes of exercise and to show you. One last thing I want to do have is definitely a contrast color. So something that will pop against those bright colors, I will put them on top last. So I will put like orange. We'll squeeze out a lot again so a little pop of that or if you don't have one of these squeezy bottles dip your paint into uh, this type of fabric paint and uh, add it like I showed you before for some interest okay um, I wiped up my brush nice and clean all I'm going to do is now is close, close the paper and with one fun sweep or two, I will make a print. Wow, that bug looks amazing. I think this would be head and this would be the bottom of the uh, bug. So the last part we're going to do is Beetles bugs have black um, six legs and all I'm doing is dipping into the black fabric paint that uh, I used before and showed you. It looks like this but we might have it in a well 
and on a palette. And so, oh, don't do the this side. That's good that you I showed you. Don't do that side, okay? It's because we want symmetry. So we want a couple of blobs this way, almost like a line. And it will imprint on the other side. And maybe we want like on that on one side, it's going to print on the other side. Maybe I'm going to have some spikies coming out of here. Okay, let's see how that's going to turn out. So I'm going to push down, go around. And wow, that looks amazing. So it looks like a really kind of exotic new species that was maybe discovered in Amazon. And the last thing is going to be just doing a couple of details with uh, watering down that thicker paint into thinner paint just by adding more water as you see add more water and you can add little hairs like in that example Ilya would you hand me that um, oh, you can reach probably there you go no no the bug with that little hair sorry so I'm doing these little tiny hair, if you can see them here. Um, so it looks like a really realistic kind of species, specimen of a beetle. They have all this hair on their little, what would you call it? Um, what would you call them? Legs. Legs. <laughs> okay. Well. I need to get the vocabulary right. I'm sure there's some scientific name for it. Yeah, I'm looking for the right name. All right, that's really funky looking. All right, and that's all it takes. And you can uh, make another one or you can keep working on this one. And uh, I'll make another one while Joy is finishing hers. Okay. I'm going to use a smaller piece of paper, like this square, and I'm going to just fold it in half. And it's going to look like that when I open it. I'll crease it really good so it's nice and... Oh, Julia is going to do the great reveal. Let's put it in the middle so we can see better. What's gonna happen? All right, more like right there. Next. Perfect. Interesting. All right. And uh, if you run out of space, like for example, in this kind of space spacing there's space left here and here but if you if your bag runs out on one side you can always um make it wider or you can cut it out like this one this particular bag also we ran out of space so we just kept making him a little bigger 
and then we cut him out and we can like display him nicely like this as well on a corrugated paper. So I think the uh, some of the colors are too uh, light and there was not enough contrast is what happened in that one. Let's try to do it one more time with the smaller. I'll let you play with it and finish it with the smaller piece of paper I got started on. All right, so let's try a different colors maybe this time. Maybe I'll use green. So always like contrasting colors will work good. And then not going too far to the end of the paper. So there's not too much paint. It's going to spread all the way, at least about an inch or half an inch away from that last dot. So that's why we're going to keep it nice and light and not too much paint. And I'm going to add lighter color, different colors, maybe some brown. For contrast, that's always good. Oops, too much. Last time it worked out, so all right. And maybe yellow again. Or orange, yellow. Okay. Maybe yellow. Oops. This one is hard to squeeze out. Would you have me that yellow? That one might be a little better. Okay. Right. We can probably speed this video up and leave out some dialogue. And then and out some more. Yeah. And stuff. Okay. We've got some yellow. So this is how it looks like so far. Maybe some glitter paint, light blue glitter paint, maybe on this side, this side. Oh, that is, that's, that's much more fixable. So if we run out of space like that, we can just cut it. When we finish uh, drawing the bug, the legs of the bug, all we can do is we can cut it out. Um, and so it doesn't look like it's running off the page and then we can center it again on a coagulated uh, little cardboard paper which will be really neat look am i saying it right coagulated i don't know <laughs> i don't know what's called that kind of paper yeah <laughs> maybe we'll just put music uh, behind this one <laughs> <laughs> oops maybe, all right maybe so it's like a demonstration instead of a demonstration, yeah. Put it some little goofy music. Yeah. <laughs> because uh, it would help if he showed me how it works first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't know how it works. Mm -hmm. Maybe that. I'm going to pause it now. <laughs> 